oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. This is my first video, like my watch me work, watch me paint, watch me design my nail video. So I'm warning you now, it's gonna be all over the place. Just deal with me, just deal with it. Oh, I'm so excited though. Okay, so I already um, prepped and primed my nails or well, I already applied the acrylic and all that stuff. Um, the most recent step I did was I buffed out my nails. I am doing Lucky Charm nails. I literally bought a box of Lucky Charms just for this because I don't even eat this anymore. But yeah, I bought some Lucky Charms just for some inspiration. All right, so this next step is, it's not really necessary. I already buffed out my nails, so you really don't need to add base coat. The reason why I'm adding base coat though is because I'm using a color that's not very thick and pigmented. So I wanted to see if using base coat was going to help. It didn't end up helping, so I kind of wasted my time doing this. But um, yeah, we're, you'll see. Just know that the color I used after this is not the best. It's, it's a mess. I'm, I'm letting you know that now. It's going to be a mess, but we, I worked with it and we're going to get what we got. But ooh, look at that from matte to shiny. Then I went ahead and cured this in the uh, UV light. After each coat and each layer of polish that I do, I do cure my nails, but I just don't show it on video because I didn't want to go back and forth. But here's the color. This color is from, I believe, Beatles Polish, and it's in a really small, I, I really just wanted to test out their polishes. Look how, like, uneven it is, and it's not even, it's not entirely the polishes or the brand's fault because my nails are a little bumpy and uneven so that doesn't completely help however um when i use this color on like plain regular press on nails that are completely smooth it it does the same thing where it's kind of like patchy and so you'll see me struggle with trying to get this all together so i ended up doing two coats of this after the first coat i went ahead and cured it and then i did a second coat went ahead and cured it and then I actually went and grabbed a whole nother color to try and put another color over it but like just it's not that great please just just trust the process trust the process this is the second color that I ended up going in with um I felt like the more I touched it the more I just made it worse but this is just it I mean I should have left it here it doesn't look that bad now that I'm looking back at it but it's okay. You live and you learn. Am I right or am I right? Anyway, so yeah, I just kind of, you know, played around, did this. After this, I did cure it. Um, and then it didn't really get much better from here, honestly. I totally forgot to mention that I'm also doing this with my non-dominant hand. So my control is horrible. I am right-handed. So when I have to do my right hand nails with my left hand, it doesn't come out as good. But um, I was actually pretty proud with how this set ended. Um, I usually, how do I explain it? Like I usually do more simple sets on this hand just because, yeah. Anyway, now I'm going in with the white. As you can see, the white's kind of not that mm, thick, pigmented, I don't know. But I didn't have as much problems with it that, as I did with the other polish. So I just kind of went in and put like a base down and then after this i'm gonna go ahead and add like the milk drips if that makes sense now you're gonna see that i end up using a dotting tool instead of a like liner brush and i did this because with the dotting tool it's almost like um when you're in kindergarten and you are using a bigger pen so that you can have more control over your writing rather than using a skinny pencil that is is harder to hold and whatnot i don't even know if you know that or not but yeah so i'm using a dotting tool just because it's less error in my opinion i don't know if it's true or not could just be me but i'm using a dotting tool and kind of just um making these little drip drips everywhere if you do decide to use a dotting tool rather than using um what is that called a lining brush um, I do recommend using a lot more polish, like putting a lot more polish on your little palette or whatever than what I did because I was kind of struggling since I was only picking up a little bit of polish. It wasn't, the nail polish wasn't moving and shaping to how I wanted it to. So this also took me a lot longer than it should have. But like I said, you live and you learn. 
I lived and I learned. If you've made it this far in my video, thank you so much for putting up with this crazy random, I don't even know what's going on, but you're still here. Thank you so much. Um, I did go ahead and put more drips in there. I really didn't like the placement that I did for all of this, but I just kind of just... Mm, I was taking L's all in the beginning of this whole process. I was taking L's and then this is what it kind of looks like. I kind of like it, but at the same time, eh, I'm going to do a different design on my pointer finger. That's why it's still clear. But yeah, now it's time for the lucky charms. JK, I lied. I psyched myself out. I did end up putting some chains in here. Um, so I just took this this drill that I'm using is Melody Susie. I got it from Amazon. It was literally only $20. Um, I'm just drilling like two little holes in my nail. That way I can put the little um, like gold charms in it. And then I can put little... You'll see at the end. I'll include it at the end of the video. But yeah, you kind of just like play around with it. This drill isn't super strong. But yeah, look. She got the job done. She got the job done. Now I'm going to take the little uh hoopy things and i got these from amazon as well almost everything i buy is from amazon because it's just convenient honestly I, there's no like nail supply store around me but yeah so i went ahead stuck those charms in and it's really easy to use oh i just got a notification on my email <laughs> like i was saying very easy to use you just put it on there and then you clamp it together it, 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 blah, 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 blah. it came with the little tool as well so this is a part where I'm kind of showing you... No, why did I put that clip in there? I don't know. Now we're doing Lucky Charms. Now we're going to do realistic Lucky Charm designs. Or I thought they were pretty realistic. I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm just taking this it's clear, ac clear acrylic powder. And let me see. I don't even remember how I filmed this video. But... I'm going to go in and start off with the heart charm, okay? So I'm just doing the same thing like I did with the drippy drips. I got this pink color. I actually custom mixed this color because I don't have this color pink. And then I used a dotting tool and I shaped it into a little heart. I did not cure the heart yet because before you cure it, you're going to want to pour the acrylic over it. And so with that, um, some people cure... cure without dusting off but for me i um kind of like tap off the acrylic powder before i put it in the uv light but you don't want to like you don't want to brush it off because the uh, the gel polish isn't cured yet so you'll move that stuff am i making any sense probably not but here's what i'm talking about so i didn't cure it yet i'm just putting the acrylic powder over to make it have that like marshmallow 3d effect and it makes a huge difference it, it's gonna look so cool you might not even be able to tell in the video but in person it looks so cool then i'm going to do the next design which is the rainbow and so i did each section individually i did like the little pink rainbow or not the rainbow but the little hump or the what is it called ring i don't know but i did the color pink first put the um, acrylic powder over it, put in the UV light. Then I went ahead and put the yellow, did the yellow ring or whatever rainbow piece. I don't need, what are they called? Now I need to look it up. But then I put the acrylic powder over that, cured, and then I did the same process with the blue color as well. And I'm so sorry, my phone actually ends up dying after this. So, um, I didn't get the rest of the designs that I did, but I did the same exact process except with all the different shapes of the different Lucky Charms. Um, but yeah, so you won't really get everything that I did. I think this, yeah, the rainbows were the last things that I did until, um, I charged my phone up and I was able to do the rest of my video. <laughs> Gosh, I literally just talked about a whole lot of nothing, but that's okay. Like I said, bear with me, bear with me. Um, if you made it this far, how was your day going? Comment how your day is going, how it could be better. If it's already fantastic, then that's amazing too. Um, I also noticed my cuticles look so 
messed up right now. I gotta put some oil on there. We gotta put some oil on them cuticles. I also forgot to mention, after I did the nude and the milk color, I did go ahead and put clear coat over it because you don't need to put clear coat clear coat after you're done with the details and stuff as you can see this is the final results i did all the charms so cute but yeah you don't need to put clear coat over that <sighs> here's another part where i kind of just wasted my time but i it's okay i didn't know what i wanted to put on this pointer finger so i was like i was like oh maybe i could do some chrome i don't know I ended up covering the chrome, but now you get to watch how I do chrome. So I'm just going in with some clear top coat. I cured the, the top coat. Here I have some different chromes. This first chrome color that I'm using, I actually got it from this. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's Shop Miss A, and everything in there is a dollar. So this chrome powder, powder was literally a dollar, and it's like my favorite chrome. However, I haven't been able to find it since this first time I bought it, like a year ago. I've had it for like a year now. And I'm so sad because it's so pretty. You won't be able to see the chrome effect too much in the on the camera, but basically I just take these little spongy makeup brush things or makeup sponges and I just wipe um, all the chrome powder onto the nail like so. Then I was like, ooh, let me try another color. So I ended up putting the blue color over it yeah I don't know see like I said I had no idea what I wanted to do with this nail but um yeah I uh, it's it's a mess I'm like thinking about it again and I, I literally spent like two hours trying to figure out how I wanted to do this nail what I wanted to do but yeah anyway so remember you use top coat shiny top coat cure it for about 60 seconds and then you go ahead and put the chrome over it then you go ahead and cure it again and then you can either add another um, layer of chrome or you can just go ahead and add the top coat, which is what I'm doing here. But look how beautiful this is. The good thing about this is um, I do paint over it. However, the underneath of the nail, you can still see the chrome effect. And I literally got chrome all over my hands because I spilt it. But now we're going to do this guy. I decided or Joe decided I should do that guy with the rainbow snapchat filter from i don't know like 10 years ago if any of you remember that but this is how let's this is a fun part fun and tricky i guess but so i'm taking the whole color and i'm basically just doing the base shape of the lucky charm guy's face now usually when i do this i use uh the liner brush and then i fill in everything else uh, with that same liner brush in the same color. However, because like I said, I'm doing I'm using my non-dominant hand. I'm using this bigger um, What is it called like a bigger? Handle I guess for now I do end up using my liner brush and you'll see in just a second But we're just going with the base color Then I'm gonna cure that and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with his this is gonna be his hat Now here are some tips when oh and this liner brush is from amazon too um i believe it is beetles and it's synthetic hair but um so a uh, tip after each layer of color or outlining or whatever you do i highly recommend that you go ahead and you cure your nail before moving on to the next color or the next layer or whatever it may be because if you mess up once the polish is cured you can't really fix it but while it's so wet, you can go in with like some um, rubbing alcohol and just like literally, it's like an eraser. And yeah, so that's what I do whenever I mess up. Now, another tip or another thing to think about. Some people, I see a lot of people um, do the lining of their whatever nail art they're going to do first. I haven't really tried that yet. I do it this way first where I just do like the basic shapes and stuff and then I do the lining after. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's just, it depends on what you prefer to do. Um, sometimes I'll go in with like a pencil and I'll outline to see how I want to draw it, but it's rare that I ever do it with my left hand. But yeah, so now you're just literally watching me add all the different layers. Like I said, 
I go ahead and cure the nail, the gel polish, um, between each color pretty much. That way, if I mess it up, I can fix it. Um, but yeah, I'm going in, adding his hair. He's not going to come out perfect, but I'm doing what I can. It's my first time making this little Lucky Charm man, so... <gasps> that rhymed. I just realized this is also my first time, I think, going with my left hand and doing, like, a character. Because I've never done... Or maybe I have... Oh, you know what? I lied again. I did a like a giant baby Yoda face, but that's a little different because when working with bigger um, designs, it's a lot easier to control everything. But this is the smallest like nail design that I've done with my non-dominant hand. Anyway, now we're going in with the eyeballs. Eyeballs and symmetry are something that I struggle with just because it's such a small area to work with and one little one little mishap, one little line, one little shape can change the entire expression of a face. Like, you won't believe it until you actually do it. It's pretty crazy, not gonna lie. I am so shaky. It's I feel so bad for myself. But yeah, I'm going in, doing the eyeballs. It doesn't turn out how I really want it to, but that's another thing is when I'm doing my own nails, I don't really care as much as if when I'm doing, you know, like custom orders. I don't even know how to, what I'm trying to say. I'm basically saying that when I do my own nails, I don't pay attention to detail as much as when I'm doing custom orders because it's my nails and really I'm the only one who's looking at it. But yeah, now I'm going in with just some regular black gel polish and I'm outlining everything to my best ability. Um, curving with a liner brush is also something that I am not 100% satisfied with, especially with my non-dominant hand, but practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Um, also, try to line in sections, cure, and then line in sections again. It makes a huge difference because if you mess up, like I said, you can just go in and erase it with some rubbing alcohol. The magic eraser. A little nail decorating tip for you would be um, to remember that different pressure, the different pressures that you apply on the brush creates different thickness in your lines, thicknesses in your lines. So just keep that, keep that in mind. Oh my goodness gracious. Just keep that in mind when you are practicing. I would suggest practicing on like a fake hand or false nails but yeah okay now this part this next part is gonna be really fun i i think i actually saw someone do it on a tiktok video but basically i'm getting the polishes and i'm just gonna line them on some wax paper or yeah i think it's wax paper and i'm gonna line it like so I'm going to put them next to each other and then I'm going to take a brush. This brush is actually for poly gel, I believe. I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff that I have no idea what it's actually for or what. But take the poly gel brush and just kind of like brush it up like so. And then kind of drag it down on the nail. I actually didn't pick up enough polish, but it was my first time trying it. And it, it looked so cool to me. I thought it was so cool. So I end up doing that with um, the rainbow colors. So I did half and half since my brush won't be able to fit all six colors that I wanted to use. So for this one, I did the purple, the blue, and the green. And then in the next one, I'll do the red, the yellow, and the orange. And then I don't think I really showed too much of it, but I do take the liner brush and kind of just go in and mess around with the colors. But look how cool this is. It is so cool to me. Look at that. It looks kind of messy right now, but it's a lot easier than taking each individual color and like lining it on there myself. It, it really looks like the Snapchat filter, but I'm not done yet. We're not done yet, folks. Oh, I did go in and show this part. So yeah, I just kind of went in and fixed the parts where like the colors were missing or the colors were a little uneven. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be perfect, but yeah, that's how I kind of just fixed it up a little bit. And then I went in with some white polish and I just added some dots and stars. If you take a look at the 
um, cereal box or the Snapchat filter, there are some of these like little star looking things or diamond stars, whatever they are. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Here is a an example of like, just keep in mind that the pressure you use on your brush changes the entire line. Some of my lines, um, the thickness of the line, some of my lines are like really nice and thin and some of them are kind of thick and yeah. You want to do like a thick one at first and then a nice thin line at the end. But I didn't, I didn't do that on all of them. Some of them look eh. But it's okay. We still need to tr trust the process. And keep in mind that top coat brings everything to life. Both clear and matte top coat for some reason just always pulls it together. So yeah, it's kind of coming along. But once I add that top coat, it's going to really pull everything together. Oh my goodness, props to everyone who does nail videos. Oh, I'm adding the top coat now. Props to everyone who does nail videos or, you know, any videos in general because this voiceover thing, this explaining what's going on is something else. I did go cure it. I don't ask. I ended up putting a box and then putting my uh, UV light on the box because it just, it was easier. <gasps> this part okay i decided it would be so cool if i put the actual cereals cereal pieces on the charms this is what i was talking about earlier so i did go ahead and do that it, it looked so cool um on my tiktok i posted a video and people were like "Ooh, you should dip it in like some top coat or hard gel so that you can preserve it and you can wear it around all the time and blah 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 but i kind of didn't want to wear it around so i didn't try that but I was like, ooh, I can do the marshmallows and change out the marshmallows every day. However, I left these marshmallows out for a couple of days and they became squishy. So it didn't even work out on this first attempt that I tried to stick it through. Um, yes, these nails took me a few days to complete. So after this failed attempt, I did try to do a another one and that one failed as well miserably so i was like you know what this one this is another fail i was like no no my heart was broken so i tried another one and it was another fail so i was like you know what maybe it's the it's the rainbow it's the rainbow so i went ahead and got the <laughs> um heart marshmallow and it kind of broke but it it didn't break enough so we're going with the heart she went through she's still in one whole piece we're gonna use her and look it's so adorable you just clamp it together like so and dangle dangle we got a little cutie <coughs> choked on my spit a cutie little dangle and that my friends is how i created these cute 3D realistic looking Lucky Charm nails. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, I'm sorry my yapping probably bored you to death. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make more videos like this. Stay tuned or don't. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I'll see you next time.